So Sam's model already has some layers set up. And we can see those by opening up the Windows Object Lister, which lists all the layers in this floating window. Now these work in a similar way to Photoshop and other systems. So I can turn the layers on and off using this small square icon. And I can also use it to change the layer colour by clicking and holding until the colour menu appears and then just choosing the colour I want for the wireframe. And this can make it easier to distinguish each layer. And I can always go back to the default colours by choosing None. So what you need to know now is how to create your own set of layers for models that you build. And for this I'm going to open up the second training model, which is called Mike's Development Car. And I'll say yes to delete Sam's car as I haven't made any changes that need saving. And you can see here in the object lister that it only has a default layer, which is always there in every project. So let's create some new layers. And for this I'll use the right mouse button on the layer to get the submenu and just choose insert new layer. And this gives me a new layer with a default name, which I can double click on to rename and I'll call it bodywork. And I'll do that again to get a second layer and I'll call this one glass. So the next step is to assign the geometry. So I can use pick object and you'll see that the surfaces have already been grouped, which is something we'll cover in a later tutorial. So I can select the bodywork surfaces and then use the right hand mouse key again to say assign to put that geometry onto the layer. And I'll normally check that it's worked by turning the layer on and off. Alternatively, if I open up the layer, I can see the body group inside. So then I can use pick object again to choose the glass elements and assign all of those to the glass layer. And then I think I need another layer for the remaining bits, which I'll just call trim. And you can see that it's much easier to pick the remaining geometry with the other layers turned off. So having organized my layers, I can now do some really useful stuff with them, like manage symmetry. You can see that Mike's model is just one half of the design. But I can use the layers to display the mirrored geometry, either selecting symmetry from the layer submenu, or using this shortcut icon here. And the mirrored geometry is displayed as a dashed line to distinguish between the original and the mirrored side. Now we were lucky here that the default symmetry direction was along the center line of our car. If we wanted a different direction for a different design, then we first need to select the layer by clicking on it, and then use Layers, Symmetry, Set Plane, and choose one of the other symmetry directions shown on these small brown squares. And then if I hit Set Plane, you can see that now it's mirrored across the front axle instead of the center line of the car. So I'll just return that back to the correct direction. And let's finish up by looking at one way in which we can make use of this layer organization that we've set up. If I go over to the diagnostic shading and use the Viz1 shader, you'll see that Mike hasn't set up any colors. And Viz1 uses rendering shaders, which I'm not going to cover in these tutorials. But we do have access to the multicolor shader here, which allows us to create some very basic color schemes. So now I can use the layer submenu to pick all the objects that are on that layer so that they're selected. So now when I pick on the color chip, I can select a color to apply to all the bodywork. So I'll just choose a reddish color here. And I can do the same for the objects on the glass layer. I can select those and choose a different color. So I'll just go for a darkish bluish black. And finally, I can pick the object on the trim layer and I'll just make those black. And it doesn't mean that you can't still just use pick object to pick single parts to have as different colors. Now I'm going to save the file because I've got the layers and colors nicely set up now. And I'll be using this model in the next tutorials. So I'll just do a save as and I'm going to give it a different name 
Just add my initials on the end so that I keep the original file unchanged. So your task for this tutorial is to open up Mike's car design, create some layers and assign the geometry, use the symmetry to display both sides of the car, and then use the multicolor shader to give the car some color. And don't forget to save the file at the end so that you can use it in later tutorials.